Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video on intent surveys, we have seen that how to go about the implementation of the intent service. You basically make sure that you extend a class called as intent service and then you override the method called as on handle intent. And then we finally ended the video. If you are wondering what happens to the concept of bound services, whether it still works in the same fashion as far as intent services are concerned, the answer is yes. We will have a quick glance at that in the next video. So let's see how a bound service would get implemented. So if you observe this particular code, now I have my intent service which extends intent service and I have overridden the on handle intent and in which I am starting the random number generator and other than that I have also implemented certain methods which are mainly concerned with implementing the bound services. If you recall the way we implement bound services is I have created an instance of I binder and on bind returns me I binder instance and then I have overridden other methods like on rebind on unbind these are the callback methods that get invoked whenever you bind or unbind from this particular service. So the methods that I have written here are pretty much the same methods that I would have written if I was implementing the bound services in a normal service. Even here also I have used the same iBinder interface. So going back to the main activity, in the main activity I have got certain buttons like start service, stop service, bind, unbind and get random number. Get random number is the function functionality using which we are basically going to get the random number that is being generated in the intent service. So it is through the iBinder interface I am going to get the random number and display it in the main activity and if you go back to the main activity in the onCreate method I have start, stop, bind, unbind and get random number buttons and in the onClick method of those individual buttons I am invoking different functionalities. So let me run the application and see what happens. I am going to start the service and as you can see here as soon as I start the service the random number is getting generated but if I try to click get random number it will show me service is not bound because I have not clicked on the bind service. So let me click on the bind service and after that now let me click on the get random number. Now I am getting the random number. If the service is bound and I try to stop the service the service won't get stopped it will still continue to run and after I unbind from the service the service will get destroyed and after the service gets destroyed if I still try to do a get random number it will say the service is not bound. So this is the same functionality that we had seen in the earlier version of the service where instead of intent service I was using a normal service. So whether you use a service or a intent service pretty much everything remains the same. The functionality wise, the way you implement the bound services would not change at all. So with this, I am pretty much done with the discussion of how bound services will work in case of intent service. You can just try to extend this implementation with remote binding of the services and try to see whether the way the functionality is implemented is still the same. You can refer back to my earlier videos on the remote binding and try to implement that with the intent service and see whether there is any difference and I am assuring you there won't be any difference. So that's it about the discussion of intent service and bound intent services. Just let me know your feedback in the comment section. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.